our goal as radiation oncologists, um, it's really to try to target radiation to the tumor while limiting the normal tissues around it. So we do fairly well with newer techniques like uh, intensity modulated radiation therapy. But as we look over um, our outcomes over the last uh, probably 15, 20 years, we see that we can probably do better. And the proton therapy uh, may be a way to paint in the dose a little bit more sharply uh, without some of the low dose spill that you can get with uh, regular photon therapy. Um, so any tissues that you can spare um, in a patient may be very important, especially um, for some of our patients who are very young, very healthy, and we anticipate that they're going to have many years of life left. And so you want to render them uh, as close to baseline as possible. And so maybe the physical properties of the proton will allow us to do that. Now um, there's also the question of can we cure more people? And so that's where the heavy ions come in, such as the carbon ions. Biologically, um, they basically do more damage uh, as they go through the path of tumors. And the same is with neutrons, so biologically they should be better uh, than protons or photons. But that again um, is kind of where we are in terms of can, can we demonstrate that, can we prove that? Uh, can we design studies in the future and currently that will help us answer that question pretty fast.